everyone, this is Buzz Buzz back again with another video. Wow, um, it's been a while. No, it hasn't. It's been not that long, actually. But I'm actually horrified of playing this this game. Ow, there's something in my eye! Assessment examination. I really don't like this, but whatever. We're gonna play assessment examination. The examination will now begin. Hello, friend. Thanks for applying for this position at the authenticity assessment department. All of us here at are very happy to have you. Okay. If you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life scenario. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Please take a sit and await further instructions. Awesome. What what are we waiting for again? Okay. I I don't I don't like this. How did you hear about the um this position? Um, yeah, word of mouth. Yeah, people, do you have any professional experience in this area? Like, uh, examinations? I, I do a lot of exams. I am a college student, so yes. I examine a lot. Do you have any personal experience in this area? I personally don't like to take exams for fun. Do you believe in God? The sky is throwing itself. Yeah. Yes, I believe in God. Um. Do you fear death? Some days. Occasionally. But like, what am I gonna do if I die? I'll just be chilling. So. No. Depends on how I die. Do you fear God? Um, no, he's supposed to be all good, right? So, do you have people you love in your life? Yeah, I do. Do you fear losing them? Hell yeah, I do. What does that say? Beep. For real, that's what it says. Nah. I fear losing them. A A D. Several images of people, and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats you should stay away from. All right. Careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Sounds good. Um. No, I don't like him. Ugh. No. The way she's looking at me is giving me an RBF, so no. He has a laser eye, so no. Uh, what does that say? Mori father? Um, sure. No, I don't like the lighting in that picture. He looks like a nice guy. Ah, oh my god, I have... No, 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 no. Oh my god. Um. What you guys don't know about me is that I have a severe phobia of people without faces. Um, and that just happened to happen. And, and, um, and by, I mean severe, I mean, like, severe. Like, this isn't just your fun, oh, I'm scared of it. N no, no. He looks nice. She looks like she's 
on a Coke. Well, the haircut's really bad, but yeah. Ash just looks normal like the rest. Ah, oh, Francisco Estrada, 19, victim 2, police department. What's your emergency? Yeah, I'm at Dory Park at a gas station, actually in a corner of Dory Park. I think there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside, and he's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. It's just, he's outside and the door's locked, so I can't tell. He is asking for help, though. I don't know if you can hear, but he's asking me to help him. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock his door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. I hate that I'm so paranoid of this. Not, not being, uh, uh. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously, but the moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sakes. But, and... Is there, and this is going to sound crazy to you, but just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. His face, his face, you know, he had his look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what, but something I'm terrified of. Fuck, I don't know, man, but something's off about that kid, like real off. You're going to let this kid bleed out because he feels off? No, that's not what I'm saying. He's not dying, I don't think, but... He doesn't look, he didn't look right is all. Kid looked like he just died himself. He just died himself? But he hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I've been drinking a little bit, but you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. Officer? You must be pale because of his blood loss. You... <sighs> Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight, and not because he drank one too many cheap beers. Is there still- is he still there? Does he- how does he look? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm like crouching under the counter so I can't see what he's doing. It's fucking creepy. Hmm, okay, well the ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away, and that kid cannot be doing well, so I need you to assist him. Oh, fuck that. No fucking way. No. You didn't see that little fucker. He's not normal. You know, refusal to cooperate is crime, right, son? It, is that what that is? Of course. Fuck, fuck. Okay, I'll go check on him then. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. All right. Ave Maria Santissima. Oh, no. Ah! That kid is not normal. Oh, no, that's uncanny. Hello to you, sir. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into the... <laughs> you will receive a letter on... <laughs> I don't want to look at this anymore! I think I won. She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open, and when she went into the room, she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today, and at other times I like being with grandmother so much. She called out, Good morning but received no answer, so she went to the bed and drew back the curtains. There lay her grandmother with her cap pulled far over her face, and looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, she said, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my child, was the reply. But, grandmother, what big eyes you have, she said. All the better to see you with, my dear. But, Grandmother, what large hands you have. All the better to hug you with. Oh. But, Grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. Oh, God. I 
Avram, you have failed me. I can't escape imprisonment. I am surrounded by nothing, by nothing but lies. And sand. Sand. And suffering. I can hear him laughing in my... Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into... You will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. That's three days. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. So w w what job did I just apply to? <sighs> that was a whole lot of weirdness and that was a whole lot of scary. And I'm not into that uncanny valley type stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. I did not. Um, I hope to see you guys with the next in the next video on Friday. So with that being said, I hope you guys all have a great. If you go to school, happy school week. I don't know. Have a great life. All right. I'll see you guys next Friday with another video. All right.